Frontline kidney disease is a growing concern here in Alabama and really across the U.S. You may have noticed more people making public pleas for organ donors on social media, on billboards, even car advertisements. Our Brittany Dion taking a closer look at the impact of this condition, what may be causing it, and reminds us of the importance of organ donation. Brittany. Well, Steve, Catherine, so many lives have been affected by this, and we noticed a post on social media. You can see it here. A woman went online last night pleading to the community for a kidney, and it seems we're seeing more people turning to unconventional ways trying to find organ donations. Tonight, I spoke with one woman who was touched by that post, and she decided to do something. Alabama is facing what some are calling a silent epidemic chronic kidney disease. The need for donors is critical. This woman turning to social media to plead for help. The post gives the woman's name and birthday. She says her kidneys are only functioning at 11% and asked if anyone could find it in their heart to help her. Well, this woman, my name is Kelly Holloway, picked up the phone. I got teary eyed when I first saw it because I just I felt bad for her. She called the American Kidney Foundation just as the Facebook post instructed. I gave them all my information. They're supposed to get back in touch with me to set the screening process up. She hopes to be a match. Because you're giving life to somebody, you know. I don't want to see anybody living like that. If, if I could help some way, I would love to help. Ann Rayburn with Legacy of Hope, Alabama's Organ and Tissue Donation Alliance, says nearly 1,100 people are waiting for kidney transplants in Alabama. They could wait for years. We have you know, about 1,285 waiting for organs, and the majority of those are waiting for a kidney. She says there are several factors likely increasing this chronic condition. But with our diets and uh, diabetes and hypertension and all those things, sometimes it's just you know, genetics and you can't necessarily fix that. But sometimes, you know, I think that we are a little disadvantaged because of our health status. Rayburn is a living donor. She donated her kidney to a friend in 2016. She's doing well. I'm doing well. And uh, I hope the woman that you saw gets her transplant. We sure hope she does as well. I did reach out to the woman who made this post, but I didn't hear back from her in time. We'll keep you updated on if Holloway is a match for her. You can sign up to be an organ donor online or through the DMV. We'll post links directly to those online forms on the WBRC News app.